Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a highlighting search box in Excel 2016. So here we have our table of data, and we got some names here that I'd like to search, or some items I want to search, and regions and whatnot. So to do this, we're just going to go ahead and make a search box. So I'm going to type in here, I'll type search, little colon, and I'll designate this box as the box to search in. So first I'll go ahead and give it a fill color, maybe a nice blue there, and also change the text color to make it look a little nicer. So if I type in Jim here, I want this to search the table of values on the other side and have it highlight in a blue color. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and select the entire table of data. We can do this in bunch of different ways and conditional formatting will hit new rule and use a formula to determine which cells to format and we're gonna go ahead and type equals search start a parenthesis there and what we want to do here is we want to search for whatever's in this box put a comma there and we want to look at this whole table of value so I'll just go ahead and hit the dollar sign, we'll pick A2, and with a concatenation there, another dollar sign, B2, and this will go ahead and check out all of our columns here. Now you can omit certain columns if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and search for all of the columns in our table of values. So once you have all that typed out, Close the parentheses and hit OK. You can also format. So if I wanted to, I just want to go ahead and change these certain colors. Finally hit OK. And now you can see it changes accordingly. Doesn't matter what case it's in either or how much of a word you write in. So as you can see, everything highlights well and easily. However, there's one certain problem. We can see if it's all empty, everything's highlighted. So I'll go back to conditional formatting. We'll manage a rule. So I'll go ahead and a worksheet and we'll edit this rule. And what we want to do here is we want to nest all of this into an if statement. So we'll start out with an if. And we want to check if it's blank first. So if this cell is blank, then a little comma there. We want to return a value of zero, otherwise we want to turn whatever this search is. So if we hit OK, and OK again, since it's blank, it's going to return zero, so it found absolutely no matches at all. And we'll go ahead and check to make sure that all the other searching works. This has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.